Hi, Susan and Sarah Ann, can you hear me okay? You got your, your wine. Just trying to type in this title real quick. Yes, so it is wine and FaceTime. So I'm here with a so I'm here with another wine and FaceTime. I do have my bottle of wine, which is my Moscato Red. Let me know if you guys can hear me good or not. Moscato Red, Moscato Red. This is what I'm drinking today. And I just want to check in with everybody, see how everybody's doing, how you're feeling. It's been a long, stressful week for a lot of us. And um we all going through it some kind of way and of course um i just did a zoom from 7 to 7 30 ish and you know continue the conversation here on instagram live and there's a lot going on you know we're all feeling some way we're all going through something we're all de dealing with it differently and um it's just really crazy and for the most part a lot of us you know has to make a decision and we made that decision for the most part and we were all impacted, you know, in some way. Um, some people were able to get around it and, and not have to get the, some people were, you know, some people, you know, were able to get those letters and those doctor forms and, you know, those excuses and it worked out for them. Shout out to all those people. But um, with all this going on, I just wanna check in and ask everyone like, how are we doing really? How's it going? How are we really doing? You know is everyone really really okay because for me i definitely went through some moments um last week where i felt like i was just not okay and i knew i wasn't okay because i didn't feel myself yes moscato moscato let me pour i was already sipping from the zoom session so i have a little bit down here already so let me pour some more of that yes I was like, boy, I must be good tonight. Because this bottle is already almost finished. I won't lie. I think I was tapping in the bottle yesterday. But I have the Moscato Red. <sighs> Breathe in. <sighs> Breathe out. There's just so much to talk about. There's just so, so, so much. Um, I've been so vocal about my feelings about the whole mandate, the vaccine, everything. And that's the last time I'm gonna say those two words for this session, I'm not gonna say those two words again. I'm gonna just do hand signals, whatever the case is. And um, I felt like, you know what? I have to let my followers know, you know, what happened with me because I've been transparent my entire journey. I haven't been someone who's been lying about how I got results or what I did to lose weight or gain muscles or get abs or, my booty or strong tone down i've been authentic and transparent my entire fitness journey with you guys from when i didn't have 100 followers from when i didn't have 300 followers from when i didn't have 500 followers when i didn't have 600 followers i was still transparent with you guys from beginning to end however um my role in the city and you know what i do on site for the city i definitely didn't want to mislead or confuse a certain group of people because i work as a union rep um with you know their decision making process regarding you know what they have what a lot of people who work for the city have to do i decided to drop a video on the 29th um of october when the entire city had that day to make a decision just to show people hey this is what i did not to influence anyone to do what i did or not to motivate anyone to do what i did because i still don't promote or agree that anyone should do what i did but I decided to go through with it and at the end of the day you know i hate that i did it to be a, a thousand percent transparent i hate that i did it 
I was mad at myself, like overthinking in my head the first few days. And by day four, when this didn't feel so bad anymore, and um, you know, I didn't feel so sluggish anymore, I was like, screw it. Your new model right now is you go for the cool stuff. And for me, that means something personal for motivational purposes. Now that I did this, um, as far as what my mindset is going to be now that I'm still at this agency. And um, I'm going to just take advantage of everything I have in my power to get to where I need to be by any means necessary. All these free trainings, free courses, free workshops, teaching people on the job, things, everything. I'm going to use all that knowledge, all the networks and people I got to go for the boost. Though, you know, so that's going to be my, men my, men my mental mindset. Ooh, I'm getting worked up just talking about this because I'm telling you, I'm mad I did it, but you know, it is what it is. You know, today's another day. Today's a new day, and um, I can't dwell on those decisions because it's not going to change it. You know, I'm there. This is the situation I'm in right now, so there's no getting past that. You know, and I was just moving forward with the strategy, the plan, what I'm going to do. So, again, that's just a little bit of what I'm feeling inside and what I got going on, and we all are going through it differently. Some people done did this last year, last month, eight months. Some people did this a long, long time ago. Oh, some people did this, you know, thing a whole long time ago. And I'm just catching up, you know. Sip time. I'm a sip. Definitely a little bit more than a sip. But anyway, I say all that to say that, you know, how we doing? realistically physically emotionally spiritually how are we doing i was stressed i was having heart palpitations and throwing up and <sighs> being snappy and snooty and having arguments with people i don't really don't argue with and you know feeling anxiety feeling like my heart was racing and i was going through so many emotions having so many mixed feelings about things that had nothing even to do about this or the 29th deadline date you know just was like real agity real just on edge and it was just like wow this is really affecting me this is mentally affecting me this is physically affecting me this is affecting me on a level that it shouldn't be for some reason my screen keeps timing out so if you see me go like this that's me touching the screen so i can like wake back up i guess because my phone is not 100 percent charged my, my phone is like okay you got about two or three four seconds before we just hang up and just you know go on low mode or whatever but um oh I have the charger cord right here. Well, why did I never plug it up? Okay, hopefully that does something eventually. It didn't even recognize it, but whatever. Um, <clears throat> so, again, I have my sip. Okay, I think that... I might need to move some stuff around, guys. Two seconds. Okay, I think I had to turn on my laptop for us to actually start charging my phone yep okay there it goes so now it's actually charging my phone so back to my wine so just talking about this like my heart started racing i'm starting to get on not even breathing again and everything like that but that's what it be sometimes um when you're passionate about something but um i just want to check in and say yo how are we doing like how are we doing because for me i was stressed razzle dazzle as my home girl shout out to keisha graham Big Booty Keisha, my union organizer, she helped me with my union stuff, whatever case is. Shout out to um, Big Booty Keisha, Keisha Graham. Um, she called me, had a heart to heart with me, and it really made me feel special and appreciated because she's not herself right now. Like, the world's not themselves right now. Like, I'm not myself right now. Like, you guys not yourself right now. So, as I say, you may never feel like your best self right now. Um, although, I know you already made the decision, like, probably, like, a month or two ago, you already told me that you went ahead and did it because your job, HHC, did the damn thing, too. Like, my job the court system did the damn thing but um i just want to check in you know because i feel like again we're all mentally stressed about this decision and um we all made a decision for the most part for you know already depending on where you work at and what you do and um it's been hard it's been rough it's been tough you know um 
people even want to use more vacation time people even want to take more trips people want to you know just relax at home people want to just call out more people want to just stay home more spend more time with their families like everyone's affected in a different way some people want to just get out the house more just get more fresh air more walks more exercise um explore new things try new things you know like people are affected so differently by this whole shenanigan thing and um it sucks if you live in New York City, you know? It sucks if you live in all those states besides Texas, Georgia, and Florida. If you don't live in those states, it's stressful for you. I need to sit. But, um, I haven't, you know, I wasn't feeling my best. I'm definitely feeling a little bit better now. Despite getting this, you know, definitely feeling better. The first few days, I was, like, really sore. Um, I was a little bit sluggish, sleepyish, you know, normally way much earlier than I normally do and um that was pretty much it after day four day five I definitely felt like 100% myself again you know so to each his own you know we all had a different experience with it um but still my mental health affected I still overthink and think about you know what's gonna happen what if this what if that you know family people you know work people being on a train with the public you know I, my mind is still racing 24 7 because I know just because of this you know does it mean that I still can't you know catch it or whatever the case is and I was big on not needing it and it felt like I could you know avoid getting it just by washing my hands and wearing a mask or whatever the case is so my mindset hasn't really changed you know, my mindset is still the same you know regardless at the end of the day you know my mindset definitely hasn't changed but um I may have to soon think about getting my 12 year old daughter this you know and I don't know how I feel about that but to be honest she's on a bus with school kids on the school bus in the morning um, she's in school with kids um, for about a few days, few hours of the day. Um, we're not really outside, going to restaurants and stuff like that that often. Um, but, you know, I feel like I've managed the amount of people she's around. But really, not really, because I'm not with her 24-7. She goes to school for seven to eight hours a day. But um, I guess I'll post that line when I get there. I think for me, after getting my second one, I'll probably consider thinking about my daughter, you know, the 12-year-old. Um, my oldest is 22 year old she's already thinking about doing it herself for whatever reason she has and um you know she's made a thorough decision that that's something she wants to do and i'm pretty sure she she's understandable understanding and aware that you know just because you get it you're not immune or exempt from catching anything so she's pretty educated about it just like we are all you know even the things that we don't agree with you know we're pretty conspiracy theorists educated about the who what where when why how of you know how this whole thing works and the politics the money shenanigans truth and conspiracy we're, we're all like we all have our own theory and knowledge about this whole thing pretty much long story short so i know i just said a lot right now take another view definitely drinking this riscotto red um this is what I have left in my cup. I had a 7 o'clock to 7.30 Zoom. This is 7.30 to 8 o'clock on IG Live. And just checking in to say, you know, how we doing. Um, really, really for real, for real. You know, how we processing, what we're doing with everything. And, um, you know, how are we making through? We're all going through something. I haven't worked out in like two weeks, which is really, really crazy. Um, off the subject i feel like you know i'm at my goal weight i don't need too much cardio i just need to do calisthenics and um strength training at this point so i don't really need to be outside running bridges or running around a park or anything like that but i definitely want to get into you know getting some more in-home gym equipment to you know do the workouts indoors because although this happened i'm still not trying to be in the gym sweating on machines with people blah 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 i'm still not trying to do all of that sip sip But outside of that, um, everyone's coming through it, you know. There's there's just so much to think about, to stress about. Um, it just really teaches me too in this time too. Like, like we got to really believe in ourselves more, you know. Like I felt like, you know, when I made this decision, it was like, damn, do I kind of not believe in myself? Am I making this decision because I don't believe in myself as an entrepreneur? Am I making this decision because I don't believe that I can like pull all the money I have together? and throw it into something or, or invest in something or flip something or do anything to get any kind of extra money out of all the money I have saved up and, you know, really not be able to work. Like, I've had those thoughts in my mind. It's like, damn, did I just give up on myself by doing this? Or did I just make the best decision for me? And, you know, I got to just continue to say I made the best decision for me. Although I really, really, really didn't want to do this. So, again, you know, those things play in my mind, trickling my mind still, you know, regardless of, you know, the end result so it's like 
go for the boost because y'all make it worth it you know regardless of what you're gonna do after this you know it's in you now you're gonna get another series of this and there's no going back at this point so you know do the best you can with what you have you know use your resources and tools around you you know to make this the best decision for you however or however i'm looking at that situation so that's where i am you know monday's a new day and although i don't want to be talking to people at work about my specifics you know i'm gonna just be extremely transparent here on this platform because you know i don't see the purpose of not being transparent on this platform since I've shared so much throughout my entire journey from the weight loss to the diet plans to the clothes um, to the wire FaceTime to the apparel and the yoga suits and the leggings and the headbands and the wristbands and, you know, my YouTube journey and everything else. I feel like I've been so transparent. There's no point to not be transparent right now. Like, I hate, you know, being misled when I follow people and we can find out they had surgery or, you know, they're not what I thought they were. So, like... I can't worry about what people are gonna say. They're gonna be with people. They're gonna be. They're gonna say stuff that I don't agree with or I don't like. Comments, you know, tags, report me spam. Like certain things are just beyond me. Certain things you just can't worry about. You know. So at the end of the day, people are gonna judge. People are not gonna judge. People are gonna unfollow to follow, like dislike, ban, whatever they're gonna do. Like that can't stop me from doing what I want to do. You know, as far as you know, growing this platform and my brand. And being able to have a safe space to talk about issues and concerns that we all are linked together and connected with, that we all experience and go through. So with all of that said, I feel like I need to draw another cup again. And again, if you see me coming up to the screen, coming close, touching it, that's just because for some reason my screen keeps timing out and it's getting dim. So I'm like touching the screen to make sure that the screen does not go all the way black because I can't see myself in the screen. But, you know, happy weekend to everybody, though. You know, I hope you guys are continuing to do whatever you feel to be safe. If you don't decide to do that, you know, whatever you do, it's up to you. How you want to protect yourself and your family is not promoting or marketing or, you know, communicating with anything. Oh, you refused. Okay, I didn't know you were currently on administrative pay leave. I thought you um, said you had did it. Well, preach on, girl. You are the motivation. You are the OG. You are the GOAT. You are the legend. Like, that's what's up. Like, I really wanted to be one of those people that, that did that too. But, again, you know, I guess I had a moment of, you know, do I believe in myself that much to take everything out and invest it in something to make it work? Like, is that realistic for me? Will I have to rely on people? Do I want to... You know, do I want to go back down that journey again? Do I need to? You know, like, what should I really do? So, I was definitely on your bandwagon. And for some reason, I just just went for it, you know. And I can't explain all the reasons why necessarily. But um, I just did, you know. It was kind of like fear, anxiety, phobia. It was so many things, you know. And besides, I'm an overthinker and I procrastinate. I was just like, oh, my God, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Just like so many other people were saying too, like, oh my God, what I want to do, what I want to do. Like, I know I wasn't the only one who said that. So, whew, such and such, you make me sit more. But, you know, at the end of the day, like, I'm really happy for you that you did that. I still wanted to be that person, but I was so afraid and, and having anxiety and fear and breathing funny and everything. It was like, am I having a panic attack? Am I having anxiety attack? Am I having a heart attack right now? Like, what's going on with me? Like, I was just feeling so crazy when all that stuff was going on. And for me, my whole thing was not knowing how long the leave would be for that really stressed me. I had meetings with my union, um, you know, for like two hours and meetings on my location for about an hour. And, you know, there was just so much vague, you know, information. Yeah, you know, definitely like bullied into it. It was like so much vague inconclusive information like how long will the leave be we don't know uft is doing a year but we don't know about the days off so we don't know about this so it's like i can't follow an appointment i can't get welfare i i can't work for another city agency like what am i gonna do so yeah you know i really hate that i did that but i did you know and i'm just trying to get in the mindset of you know what do i get out of this you know how can i look at this in a positive way and that's where my whole go for the boost store comes in, you know, by doing whatever you need to do to make this opportunity worth it, whether you agree or not agree with what you did. So by that means me taking every free training, of course, they're going to give me to put it on my resume, fine. 
whether that means we look at every job description they put on my, 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 my website and I research every program for every job description that I'm not qualified for and so I don't find out how I can create free trainings for those courses or programs that I don't know to make me look better. I'm going to do that too. I'm going to do whatever I can to make me feel like at the end of the day, I leveled up and moved on. And whether that may be realistic or not realistic, like that's just the mindset I got to have by feeling like I was sucked into this. So I got to look for the the positive and how I can flip this and make this work for me. So um, new goals have just been made for me um, at work. And, you know, I'm going to have to look at it in that way specifically, like, what do I get now that I don't have control or now that I was sucked into doing something I don't want to do? How can I flip this and make this work for me? How can I? <coughs> yeah, this whole strong arm, that's so right. It's just strong arm. Like, even for me, the fact that I've, I got trapped into it, like, I'm still not rushing to go to the gym. I'm still not rushing to go to the restaurant because my family's not vaccinated. My daughter's not vaccinated, you know? My other emotions are not vaccinated, you know, so it's not about going to the gym or going to a restaurant or going to see a movie or a theater play. It's not about any of those things for me. It's just about the livelihood of knowing you got to do something to feel like you have control over your life, your spending, your bills, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Like, just not having that fear of, oh my God, how am I going to pay this? So what am I going to do about that? That's, you know, that livelihood, that structure, that foundation, that thing that, you know, it's just, it's just bananas, you know, but it's sad. You can't even talk about it here on this platform without being COVID-19 tracker tracers on your on your feed or your story because they think you're spreading false information when you're not spreading false information. Excuse me. At all. It's just so much. It really is so much, you know, but I, I love the people who are sticking true to, no, I'm not doing it. I could do what I want. I'm I'm so in love with the energy and the bodies and the souls of those people that are, are on that journey, on that path, because I wanted to be there so bad, but was afraid, was nervous, was scared, was in my head, overthinking, couldn't even react and think realistically, and just <laughs> anxiety filled. You know, it's just just sad. That's why I feel like I hate that I did it, but I did, you know, and I can't think about all the who, what, where, and why, why, and all that other BS. I gotta just think, like, you know what? What can I get out of this now that I've been settled and did it? You know, what can I get? How can I prove it? What shall I, what shall I do? You know, like, how can I move and finesse in this system since I'm a part of the system that's designed to possibly make me fail or keep me at a low rate or make sure I don't succeed, you know, beyond the, the needs that they feel I should succeed at? So that's my new mindset. You know, and um, to each his own. We all have a plan and a strategy, like you, Suds and Satin, that decided to take a leave. I'm pretty sure you strategized and thought about a whole bunch of things before you did that leave. You put a paper to pen, and you thought about some things you can do financially that you're good at, that you're great at. You know, you thought about resources and tools, and yet it's still a struggle, but I'm pretty sure you made a decent plan before I said, I'm going to go on leave. And um, I definitely try to take that approach, but definitely got like um writers blocking mental block at some point like oh my god you know just fear and anxiety over taking my mental um out thinking myself overwhelming myself stressing myself I'm like oh I can't do it I can't do it I don't know what to do just you know knowing that I feel like I need that constant every two week check I feel like damn they got me I'm such a dummy <clears throat> but again I know I'm not the only one like you're not the only one it's sad, you know, exactly. We, we get these degrees and we go through these trainings and we get these resources and tools and programs and softwares and we learn them and, and we teach them to the new staff coming in and we make tutorials for our co-workers that come in and interns and, and you know, the new people and everyone that comes in to have a healthy guide on something and just like that. We're dispensable when they feel we're dispensable no matter how long we've been there. The loyalty is not considered about the the seniority or you know the promotions or the ethics or the values of the employees or the practice is all about the big people up top the politicians or the politics the stakeholders the shareholders the people that you know 
donate the money, the people that, you know, allegedly keep the business afloat outside of the bodies and workers that are physically in the buildings that we, you know, are with the patients and, you know, physically, you know, doing the hard labor on the job. It's about the big people up top to make the executive decisions to donate this and put loans into that and construct this and construct that. It's about them, not really about us. And that's in every industry, you know, so... At the end of the day, I just learned that I was playing checkers in a game of chess and I need to learn how to play chess and whether, you know, I didn't make the right chess move by, you know, going for this or not. At the end of the day, I learned how to make better decisions and learn how to, you know, get better advantages and, you know, learn better strategies in this whole life and everything that comes with life, adversity, the good, the bad, and ugly and all of that because I can't be playing checkers in a game of chess and they just made a chess move on us. And some of us is, you know, moving that bishop and moving that knight and moving those pawns. And I was double jumping backwards and forwards. So at the end of the day, yes, it is a real struggle. It is sad. It is crazy. But um, we all do what we got to do. We all got a strategy and a plan. It's a struggle. We're afraid. We're nervous. We're scared. We're in our head. Um, it's a lot to consider. And um, that's why I was like, do we need wine this week or something stronger? Because I felt like, you know, we may need something stronger than wine because a lot of us are in a pickle now. A pickle, pickle, pickle because we're waiting for the unions and the cities to come up with a plan. And we don't know when that's going to happen and when it will take place. And so much, again, so much uncertainty, so many unanswered questions and things that no one can give us answers on. And it's just like... I wanted to be on that leave, but the uncertainty of them not telling me a month, two months, six months, nine months wasn't good enough for me. But now I have a whole new worry and stress about my physical body. Now that I decided to go for that, I got to worry about the whole genetic makeup of what may be sparkling or sizzling inside. You know, I'm thinking about doing regular blood tests with my, my doctor and doing more wellness checkups and, you know, just really trying to pay attention to my body specifically, you know. Um, I always do, but, you know, really more so since, you know, I decided to go for this situation. So, you know, to each his own. Wow, it's been a month already. It's just sad, though, because, you know, we even have time saved in our banks. I have, like, over 100 hours or something in the annual and sick or something. And it's like, wow, I want to be able to use that time. So that's another thing, you know, it's like they really put us in a, in a, on a corner, you know, it's like now you got to go out with your business and I would have had to go out with my business too. But, you know, maybe that was a pressure I should have, you know, taken to think like a boss for real, for real. Maybe that was the pressure I needed, you know. So, again, I'm like, did I, do I not believe in myself? Should I have made that decision? But I can't dwell too much on that, you know. I got to just roll with it. I made that decision, now I roll with it. But special shout out and love to you, Sasha Satin. You're such an inspiration. Like, I feel like you got this, you know. You have over 20 years in the healthcare experience. I'm not sure how many years you have in the entrepreneurship um, trade, but from your presentation and setup, when I met you, I'm gonna feel, I feel like it's been some years in entrepreneurship trade and setup as well. So, um, you definitely got this. You're strong minded, you're a queen, you know, you know what you're doing. I'm a little behind you in, in, in some ways, you know, like I'm just into entrepreneurship probably a couple of years, seriously, seriously, as far as products and selling things and stuff like that. It was just been all about the physical journey of the fitness routine and a diet for the most part for me for the longest. But thank you for always tuning in and checking out my YouTubes and stuff like that. Um, United we stand, divided we fall, and um, we're all going through it. And I just want to check in and let people know I'm okay. Every day is a better day, and I decided to do it, and not the best decision, you know. I'm not happy about the decision. I'm not promoting or telling one to do what I do. I did, and shout out to those people that, you know, did what you did and just said, I'm going to leave. Um, but that just wasn't a decision I could make for myself, and I'm trying not to judge people for their decisions. I hope I'm not being judged for my decisions, and um, we all have different home environments and situations that make us react differently, so... This was me today, Wine and FaceTime, talking about how we doing, checking in with everyone, you know, realistically, how we doing, how we taking it. So, yes, for sure, definitely, you know, that's a, that's a key. Stay focused on the business regardless of not. I feel like now I'm more motivated for my business now because it just shows me the setup and the 
the plot twist trilogy games that they play with us you know it's like okay you really got to give your business the same intent you give this nine to five the same level because everything you're learning from your from your job you should be using that to your business you know like if you wasn't paying attention before you need to be paying attention now so yeah definitely definitely working on more markets marketing and strategy ideas with my products and services you know to put out there for social media and stuff like that but absolutely right such a time that is absolutely right so this was one at facetime it's your girl Michelle fit now we're just checking in to say how we doing for real and that was a little bit of my tea about how i've been doing um hope you guys are all doing well staying strong in your faith and your belief of doing whatever you feel you want to do for yourself and um shout out to those people that just you know said F that i'm not doing that i'm gonna leave peace out whatever shout out to the people that you know just went for the and just you know kept strong and did it too shout out to people that got um exemptions and religious excuses and didn't have to do it you know everyone like hope you all doing well we're doing better we're trying to be smarter be more united and um excuse me realize that you know we're all connected we have like minds we're all going through the same things having the same feelings or emotions and sometimes we just need a place to let it out and just relax relate and release and for me it's therapeutic to me to do it here because I meet people like Sus and Satin who I met outside of social media that we go through the same things, you know, like she has locks. I'm on my lock journey. I'm a baby with a lock journey and she's had locks longer than me. So she can teach me things I didn't really know about, you know, I can probably talk to her about, you know, how to strategize, you know, with my yoga suits. These are my yoga suits, the K-Fit. Now yoga suits, this is the gray one. Um, you guys want to have different colors, whatever the case is. And I'm actually wearing a compression leggings. You probably can't see them right now, but, um, Again, we are all connected, linked in some kind of way and have the same thoughts and processes on how we see things. And it's unfortunate that a lot of us have really been going through with it because we live in New York City and the media has been forced full throttle here and some of us have to make some tough decisions. So I'm happy to be able to check in and have you sudden start and pop in and share your um, commentary and your comments and your views and your opinions about how you can relate and, you know, your view of how it's been for you and sip some Moscato while I sip my red wine and we just chat about you know how things have been for each of us on different different areas and you know different wavelengths and different industries but both in the city of New York both as black entrepreneur women you know both as lock queens you know both as women first providers first so it's been a pleasure take care everyone have a good night I guys will see you next week on Saturday seven o'clock via zoom the link will be the same 7 30 via ig and that's it that's all have a good night i'm probably gonna finish this last sip and i think i really have like none left so this is like literally the last of it yeah that much so i finished the bottle always so i'm gonna have a good good night tonight <laughs> as i'm gonna go to bed of course Bye, you guys. Take care. I can always catch the replay on YouTube. I've been posting the replays on YouTube. See you later. Bye, Sales and Satin. Thank you for everything. Stay strong, girl. Peace out. Thank you for showing love all the time. And take care. Um, I'm going to definitely DM you, too. I've been looking for some more events. And I'm going to try to, like, you know, keep that business energy and that entrepreneurship energy on the same level. So... I've been looking for stuff, so definitely want to get into that, whether it's outdoors or indoors. Definitely want to get into more of that, too.